Yo, what is good? So right off the bat, if you see these beautiful babies, Gatorade sent me the new PG4s, Beyond Blessed, super pumped, and today was the first day I jumped in them, but I am still in rehab mode, so today I want to do a little bit of a vlog update slash shoe review, super pumped, gonna get into it, let's go. So first off, thank you so much Gatorade. This is really one of the most incredible things I've ever received. Your boys moving up. I feel amazing. They felt amazing. That's all I got to say. Fantastic, fantastic shoe. I haven't done anything with new shoes in a long time, especially since this quarantine. So this was a treat. So thank you. What I want to do today is kind of talk about my plants. Quick update on my hamstring. My right hamstring's been bummed and it hurts when I lengthen it. So when I take my right left step, that big penultimate step, that's when it hurts. And just injuries in general, you shouldn't have any pain. So I'm going backwards and backwards and over the course of my dunk journey, every time I learn something, I love to share it with you guys and I keep going backwards and backwards and backwards and I finally feel like I'm at the ground floor, which is the connective tissue, which is the isometric movements. And I had a trainer last Sunday, if you follow my Instagram, John Binford, who I hope to make content with going forward. So stay tuned for that because he is an amazing trainer, someone I can work with physically in person because he's close to where I live. And so working with him, I learned so much in just one training session that I look forward to sharing that information with you guys and that'll definitely be be its own video and hopefully podcast and just so much knowledge but basically the point is before you run you have to walk before you walk you stand still as a baby as anything you do so before jumping you have to get strong and fast and before getting strong and fast you have to be stable you have to be mobile you have to understand your body and that's what I want to help you with I just finished the dunk life laws the seven dunk life laws of the week check out my podcast I probably upload those videos on YouTube as well but they're everywhere the seven laws of everything I think you need for dunk life training to approach every single workout from habits to sleep, nutrition, check it out. And also I'm going to be writing a book on that as well. So your boys doing big things, always working as you know, and I'm really excited for content. I love, love, love creating content. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Let me know what you want to see. Leave a comment. Thank you all for subscribing. Can't believe we're still growing. Let's get into the jumps. Let's go. It's been a fantastic, fantastic time. All right. So I walked in the gym, super sore from Sunday session. Today is Wednesday. Sun Sunday, I, I did the workouts with John and I did uh, John Binford and super sore, even though I just did body weight. So today I had so much energy, as you know, sometimes I wake up with this high energy. I just went to test it out. And my left, right, if you guys have been following for a long, long time, I've had a lot of struggles. So today I'm going to talk about what I've been doing wrong with my left, right and what I'm working on and why I'm super excited. Okay. So if we look at this first jump, this is not a jump. This is me doing warm-ups, by the way, I have a full warm-up video if you want it, but if you look at this jump, I feel super, super bouncy. Not good height, not anything like that, but I feel agile, I feel light on my feet, even though I'm bigger. Today I woke up at 176 doing some warm-ups. Okay, so now first jump, very, very light. This is a 9-9 rim, and right here with that left foot, as you see it twists out a little bit, they're pretty symmetric. When I do my drop step jumps off left right, they're almost perfect. I feel like a balance, but as you see, my left leg comes up a little higher than my right. Your feet don't have to come up like this, but it's just an indicator to me that the energy transfer is not equal in my jump. My right left is very, very balanced and equal. That's why I've done it so much, but I've always loved left right only because of the way I feel attacking the rim. It feels like I'm attacking with my right hand first, because I am, and there's no better plant, I get that a lot, is there a better plan for left right or right handed or left handed there is no better one but left right have always been more aggressive and it feels more natural my feet feel more natural right left they could just plant solid but left right attacking a rim and going for dunks left right feels natural so I'm kind of in a bad place I don't want to say bad impeccable with my word I'm in a strange place where 
One feels more natural dunking and one feels more natural planting, but I want to ultimately do better off both. So left, right is in the works. I'm so excited. I used to dunk so easily off the dribble and now I'm really, since I, since my hamstrings hurt and I can only do left, right, I'm excited to use this newfound strong mindset to hammer in my left, right technique to get it on point. So let's go. So now adding a little bit of speed, very good jump. This one felt really good. Very, very solid. As you see my block foot, that left foot planted very solid, very balanced, both feet at the same time, very balanced, very good jump. By the way, the shoes. The shoes feel fantastic. They feel like, I love low tops. I have a whole ankle story I can get into if you're interested, but basically once I healed my ankles, got them strong and mobile, I've never looked back from wearing low tops. I love the Kobe's. I've been wearing the Mamba Instincts for a long time. These are very similar in the fact that you sit low. Somebody once told me that to explain how it feels to sit low in a shoe, meaning they're like, it feels like I'm sitting low. Sometimes I wear Kobe's, I mean, uh, KD's or LeBron's, and you feel like you're on a little bit of a platform because your low top, your ankle has no stability. So certain low tops, you feel like you're slow, low in the shoe, which makes you feel connected to the ground, which is what I need. As you guys know, I have a lot of speed. I have very strong, powerful legs in my, and very strong jump. That's why they call me young two legs. But I need shoes that can handle that. So I can't wear running shoes, even though they're super light, because they just have no... Uh, strength to support my plants. So these shoes, right off the bat, they're brand new and they didn't really need breaking in. They feel great off the bat. So that's a huge plus, great grip, and just they feel natural already. So I'm super pumped. So little reverse action, felt really good, still warming up. A, a little bit more speed here, a little slow mo, felt really good. Another really good jump. So now I'm getting antsy. I don't even know what I did here. I think I was practicing the timing for the, the backboard dunk. As you can see, if you're trying to learn the backboard dunk, this is not how to do it. You see me stutter step right there? That's because I'm out of rhythm. I have a whole video on how to do backboard dunks. So the reason I'm doing backboard, so right here in my head, I thought to myself, I can get this because I caught the ball low, still touched the rim. Um, and the reason I'm doing backboard dunks, which is in the backboard tutorial, which I think is one of the best dunks to do when you're learning to dunk, is because I couldn't throw a lob because there wasn't room to do it and the ball wasn't bouncing high enough. So when you throw it off the backboard, the ball's above the rim, so you can go get it, right? But then because it's above the rim and you know the ball's not in your hand you can use your arm swing right so I can use my full arm swing and then the other thing is that because it comes off the backboard so quick you have to be looking up at the ball which is perfect technique I have videos on technique on two foot jumping more coming out on I love basketball too this week or next week and because of that you're in the correct positioning and you jump super quick. You don't have time to do incorrect form. You have to jump naturally. You have to jump quick, which is the best way to jump and get yourself in the right positioning. Okay, so now another backboard attempt. Good, good rhythm, good timing. A little bit better, as you see. A little bit better timing, almost high, a little higher. Let's see the next one. Another off the backboard. Terrible toss. Okay. Now I'm just practicing the technique off the dribble, visualizing it, I do that a lot. I do the visualizing like this, a lot of times to make sure I'm planting. Again, when you're visualizing, see how I'm looking down? I also try to make sure I look at the rim before I finish my visualization. I do this so I think about it, I can feel it, and it gives me time to give myself a break between jumps because you need 100% effort to jump, and if I'm just going jump after jump after jump, you're gonna gas yourself out, you're not gonna get a good jump. So I try to take a solid break between jumps. All right, so I come off the dribble, not a good jump, still got decent height, but look at that left foot. See it twist right there, right? That twist, that means I'm passing my plant. I need to make that more of a solid block. Again, I know I'm twisting it and it hurts a little bit. That's why it's so hard for me to correct this form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do too much off the dribble. I'm gonna do more just drop steps and hammer that in. Similar to the, what I'm gonna do with my body awareness to get my hamstring healthy, is I'm not gonna do the compound movements. I'm gonna do isolated movements. All right, a little bit of a better jump here. As you see, didn't twist out as much, but still did twist it. I'm getting antsy. Do as I say, not as I do. I should only be doing drops. As you see here, shorter approach. I did listen to myself. I gave myself one more attempt. Shorter approach. Almost the same height with just basically one step. My legs are looking good, dude. I foam roamed like crazy. I stretched like crazy. I'm feeling so athletic. I just need to get healthy and I'm getting there. But as you see, one step, that foot's more solid, more upright, both legs almost above the rim. A little more speed here. Again, off balance again. All right, a little off the backboard. All right, so that one I was like, I had that. All right, so I'm gonna look at this one real quick one more time. So tossing it, good timing. 
I could even throw it higher off the backboard. You see how I caught it there and brought it up and tried to smash it. If it was, if I, if the ball came off the backboard right there, that's the perfect. That's why it's the most, it's one of the easiest dunks because it puts it in the place for you and perf makes you have perfect form. All right. So now I tried a little one foot. I wasn't really feeling it. Just did a rim touch. I didn't want to push it too much. I wasn't really supposed to jump too much today. My legs are so sore. Hey. So this one was great. As you see, a little higher off the glass because I knew that from the last one. See how I adapt? Like I said, I, I watched these videos and I just know from dunking so much that the last one was too low, threw it a little higher. So I caught it. Really could have had that one. If you're doing that, a lot of times you just need a little bit of a better timing or a little bit higher. I also caught it kind of far from the rim. It could have been even closer to the rim. All these things make a fraction of an inch difference, which can get you your first dunk. Also, I said I'm dunking on sore legs. That was two days ago. A lot of times your muscles are ready to go 48 hours after, but your central nervous system may take up to four days. So even though you feel really good and your muscles may be sore, um, you still may need more time. I was just going here, jumping very lightly. This is a very light jumping day for me. Uh, to actually get blood flow into my legs, but that's when I'm at an advanced level and I've been jumping for so long, I know my body well. All right, so I don't think I did anything here. This one, another bad toss off the backboard. And then, oh, almost. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so by the way, as you see, I'm going for these backboard dunks, jumping pretty hard. The shoes felt great. I didn't really have any qualms about them. Qualms is a fantastic word. Uh, they felt snug on my foot. They fit true to size. Both feet felt good. I wore just I didn't wear even Nike socks or anything like athletic socks. I just wore these little tiny socks just because I was trying to mentally not let myself go too hard. And they even felt good with that. So felt very comfortable, even though they're just first time I ever wore them. I wore them to the gym once, but just walked around. First ever time jumping felt comfortable to go a little harder so that's a really good sign for a shoe for me and ooh, little baby one look at this baby one hey counts to slow it down a little bit not a great jump as you see my left foot twist but still not terrible that foot comes up so you see it's not as balanced catch it with two i bobbled it right there but still is it high enough to get it down head down because i'm like ah it's weak as hell but I, I just wanted to make one all right what is this so yeah the shoes felt so good um it's a, this, that court is not always good. A lot. It's so oily. Even the other when my ball went flying the other way, I had to go get the the ball. The court was oily and it's so slippery. And these shoes even handled that. Like usually, any type of slippage, I'm not really that good. I guess because they're brand new too. The grip is brand new. I see. Like I couldn't throw a lob. This was a little bit of a weird one. Okay, what else we got? All right, so this was a really good jump. If you watched my Instagram last week, this was about half an inch higher than last week. Pretty good jump, a little bit of a twist with that left foot. You see how I'm past it right there, but as you see right there. All right, so as you see, not a great plant, block foot. Got almost to my wrist, which is probably like a 33 inch jump off left right going about 20%, which I'm not bad, I'm not too, ha not, it's not too shabby. All right, uh, I'm excited. Another off the dribble attempt. Still bad form. I was just a little too antsy. It's. I mean, I have a court. I have a. I have new shoes. I'm I have high energy. It's really hard not to go hard. So this was better plant, as you see. Almost above the rim. Almost got a nice dribble dunk. Slower, more controlled. Grabbing the rim. What is this? Another backboard. Really good jump here. This was a really good jump. Really balanced and straight. See how high I got top of the rim. And then I think I have one dribble dunk that was the top of the rim. This is a pretty good one. I have so much to work on. Can't really dance in them. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay. Little drop step. This one was one of the best because it's just a drop step. And I got, I almost dunked it. It was like right on top of the rim if you look. And what I mean by top of the rim is like, I got it high enough, oh, and I got like almost hung on top of the rim. So really close to it, really happy with that knees bulletproof landing, how it doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Oh! Okay, so I got one punch. I got one decent punch that satisfied me. Not the best jump, but really fast. As you see, my takeoff was really fast. Really happy to get a little bit of a dunk. Felt something, you know, I need something. I need something in my life. So that was that, um, and I'm happy with that. So that's how it went. Thank you guys for watching. Excited to get healthy. Excited for more dunks in these shoes. I don't know when the gyms are going to open so I can have a real dunk session, but 
Shout out to Gatorade. Chase your dreams. Be yourself. Enjoy your life. Check out everything I got. I got podcasts everywhere. I'm loving creating content, whether it's freaking raps and TikToks and Instagram and Instagram reels. What's going on? And I love doing this and I want to do more dunk reactions. So please leave a comment what you'd like to see. I have more podcasts with guests coming out soon as well. So everything's growing. I love making content every single place. It's really fun creating things like this and showing you guys my journey. And I hope to help you on your journey as well. So let's go. Dunk life, baby. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Hello? Hello? Hello?